we're going to be watching episode six. Oh god. We're starting the episode off in a very grim and dark fashion again. Oh. Oh my god. Oh, they're showing him. They're not even trying to make it a secret. William, do your thing. <laughs> and I'm guessing that's the killer. Why are there so many dregs boarding? <sighs> it this definitely is. This majestic vessel's made in voyage. The passengers, the same as you, sir. Be frank. Do you think a commoner would be selected to construct the Ark, saving all of humankind? <laughs> Noah was chosen by God. Oh, so he thinks the nobles were chosen by God as well. What an egotistical maniac. The only ones left on this island would be the lowest of the low. If only they were swallowed up by the waves. Oh my society God. Society'd have a chance. Yeah, you're totally dead. The temple must come crashing down. We're in agreement, but who do we target and how do we go about it? We can't change the system overnight. Oh, very true. However, something is achievable in the immediate future. We can turn London into a city overrun with crime. Oh my god. Plunging it into the depths of hell. Why? As how does this help advance our objective of improving life in this country? Crime is not our ultimate objective. It's a means to an end, that's all. Does he want a revolution to happen? The lower class taking up arms against the nobles. Oh my god. Crime will transform the city into a stage, and its citizens shall become the audience. The people of this country need an explosive display to open their eyes. So a revolution is like his ultimate goal. I'll present our first illustrious star. Step aside. <laughs> Oh else. no, he's dead. We were here first. Get to the back of the line. He's so dead. Lines were made for swine like you, not lords and ladies. What did you call me? Accept my sincerest apologies. Oh sir. my god. Everyone is aboard. I guess the plan begins. I'm terribly sorry, but unfortunately there was a slight mix-up with your table. What do you mean a mix-up? However, if you'd like, I could have a table prepared for you at our restaurant located on the lower so deck. So in other words, <laughs> you're saying I'm fit to dine with the livestock while they stuff their gullets <laughs> into mess hall below. Is that it? I would never insinuate. Like I said, the plan begins. We'll find you seating at once. <laughs> Oh my god. If we so happen to cross paths again, I swear I'll murder you. <laughs> wow. That was unfortunate. Might I offer you this, sir? Oh, thank you kindly. I get him riled up enough for you. Yes, well played. He's I also part of the plan. To wow. the Lord for the remainder of our time at sea, Mr. Michelson. Why go through all the trouble of pestering some pots? It's not your place to inquire. Oh my goodness. That was also part of our agreement, remember? Oh my goodness. A habitual burglar who's committed a litany of crimes, including rape and even murder. Oh my god! Why are you working together with him? <laughs> Let's end this. Is he like trying? I have a for you. Is William trying to go goad him into murdering someone? Murdering the burglar, maybe? Amazing! How did you know that gentleman was in the military? Surely he mentioned it to you beforehand. Hmm. What about that man? Can you guess Hold his on. profession? Is that him? Is that Sherlock? Go on and tell us quickly. What does that gentleman do for a living? Regarding the man's life. Oh my god, it is. It's rather elementary. He's a mathematician. <laughs> I can't believe we're here. I. Oh my god. Oh my god. And of course, he's on the ship where murder is about to begin. Truth can be found through simple deductions based on knowledge and behavior. Despite clearly being absorbed in thought while walking across the lounge, your concentration was broken once you reached the stairs. But where was your attention? You didn't step closer to appreciate the intricate ornamentation. I Instead, love it. I love took it a so step much. backwards. William has finally met a worthy opponent. An appreciation for the construction and not cosmetic beauty. An architect or a physicist, perhaps. 
So the question becomes, what was he looking at that caused him to step backwards? He wanted the grand scope, to seek confirmation, the curve of the staircase, and whether or not it adhered to a certain principle, the divine proportion, by which I mean the golden ratio. Couldn't be me. <laughs> I definitely could not have done that. Where to start? You play the strings, violin specifically, but you're not a professional musician. The cat and mouse Additionally, game you're adept in physical activities such as boxing. <sighs> Do I detect the slightest hint of a chemical dependency? Mm -hmm. Oh my god. Well. Oh my. How do you ever guess? I didn't. <laughs> Everything I said was a fact. <laughs> this is great. This is everything I wanted this interaction to be. Come! There are more people on the upper deck. Still not sated? Hardly. We're going to have to make you keep going until you make a mistake. I'm at your mercy. Oh, Professor. See you around. That was everything. That was absolutely favorite part of the show. <laughs> Why is this happening? Ever since I've bought it, I've met with misfortune. As though there's some conspiracy to ruin and humiliate me. There is. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> well. I'm not gonna say that he doesn't deserve this because, um, you know, he's done some pretty ho horrible things. This is all too perfect. I'll pretend I'm good and soused, make him throw a fit and apologize again. Won't take long to weed all the spirits out of this rich twit's liquor cabinet. Poor, poor pawn. I can have any oh bottle I want. Yes. <laughs> On one condition. If you somehow survive. Oh my God. I love the imagery in the show. It is so, it is just so good. Oh my god. What a fine evening this has been. Well, I hope you got it out of your system because there you're really about to get There really is a different zest to killing. Destroyed. Using your own hands. <laughs> well, I'll have to implement it into my hunting regime. Okay. <laughs> Lord Enders? <laughs> it's Moriarty. Forgive me, but one of the ladies informed me that she heard a shout coming from your room. This is bad. What do I do? If he finds the carcass, I'm finished! He's gonna throw him overboard. Uh, the door's opened. I'm letting myself in. Well, I distinctly remember locking it behind me! <laughs> Lord Enders, are you in here? Oh, wait! So I'm just... just a moment! Oh. <laughs> I must say... This is quite serious. <laughs> no! Okay. Oh, no wonder it's part two. Favorite episode of the series so far. Hands down, I have been waiting so long for the interaction between William and uh, Sherlock Holmes. And I'm, I'm so glad that it's happened already. You know, episode six, I didn't think it was going to happen until like a little later on. But I, this is, the interaction was everything I hoped for. As soon as Sherlock began to deduce William's intention of looking at the pillar. I was really hoping for William to do the same and, you know, guess certain aspects of Sherlock, and it did. And it was everything. It was everything I wanted it to be, and uh, it just gives you a taste of what's to come. And I just cannot wait to see, as the series progresses, how those two characters begin to interact with each other and butt heads and, like, try to one-up one another. Uh, it is most definitely my most anticipated part of the series. I just love those storylines where two equally intelligent and capable people go head to head and uh, face off against one another and see who comes out on top. Uh, but the rest of the story is very good so far. Uh, I'm so glad that it's that it didn't like last one episode. There is another part to this story, and I'm gonna and I'm very interested to see what happens next because. William, witness to the murder, is he going to try to kill William now to try to cover up the murder? Is, he, is William going to help him cover up the body and uh, take the body and, you know, 
put it on display so everyone can see, and then like a murder mystery type thing happens on the ship, uh, and where Sherlock comes in, tries to solve the mystery of what happens, and then ruin William's plan, and then, you know, they uh, have to face off against each other. But anyways, yeah, absolutely wonderful episode. I cannot wait to see what happens next and how the storyline concludes. I can't wait to see what happens next with William and uh, Sherlock Holmes, and just how the dismantling of the hierarchy is going to be you know, put to a stop from, or, you know, put to, you know, a slow halt by Sherlock Holmes and how uh, William is going to overcome that obstacle if he does. But if you guys enjoyed this video, please like, if you like, please dislike, if you dislike, and tell me what I can do better. Please don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell to get notified every single time I make a video. And I wish each other one of you for a wonderful day, in the evening, afternoon, whatever you prefer. And I will see you all in the next video. Bye! <laughs> Thank you.